Hello, Earthlings. Welcome to the Mothership. We are so happy to have finally found our utopia here in Seabrook. We have decided to share with you how we realized Seabrook was our utopia. And let's begin. I think we should start with my story. It all started when we learned there was a planet made entirely out of Froyo. We had to investigate. Once we landed, our excitement quickly turned to terror as we were caught up in a blizzard of mint chocolate chip. Cold and disoriented, we tried to find our way back to the ship. I saw two bright lights shining through the storm. And as the lights got larger and brighter and the storm suddenly cleared, it wasn't our ship we were headed towards. It was the red eyes of what could only be described as a waffle cone monster. Quickly finding the coordinates of the mothership, we ran away as fast as we could and barely escaping the snarling creature, trying to scoop us into their cavernous cone head. We decided to get out of there immediately so we could begin the search for a planet where Froyo didn't stand a chance. It is my turn to tell you about the unbelievable planet we found next that was made entirely of water. We quickly decided that this might be the perfect home for us since we can communicate telepathically. Living underwater seemed rather logical. Once we got underwater, however, we quickly learned how wrong we were. Every cave we explored had some sort of sea creature already living in it that was not willing to share their space. I tried to be nice, and I tried to stay curious. Finally, we found a patch of seafloor to park Mothership and claim as our own. We spent the next three days setting up our homestead and getting everything perfect, and then we all realized that we all hated swimming and missing seeing the stars. I think it's safe to say that the frozen planet and the underwater planet were not our utopia. But then, we thought we had finally found it. The perfect planet. It had food and water and trees and incredible Wi-Fi. It was perfect. Until we ran into them. Fire-breathing unicorns. Sure, they sound cool, but I promise you, they are not. They are mean and scary and relentless. Anything would be better than them. Zombies would be better. Werewolves would be better. And so we came to Seabrook. <laughs> and we were right. Zombies and werewolves were better. Sort of. <laughs> we can handle them. <laughs> Oh!